All right, so we're doing an experiment here. Some time ago, I tried to burn this stump out from the surface, the old pine tree, and it did not work. So I really don't feel like paying to have somebody come in and grind it. So what I'm gonna try and do is turn this into one giant rocket stove. Uh, and if it's not going quick, I'm gonna try and amp it up some and go ahead and use a shop vac to force some air in there and see how this works. All right, so here's what I figure I need. Shop vac, shovel, link the pipe, optional. Figure, but I'm gonna try and get a little further away from the stump. Shop vac's made out of plastic. Long paddle bit, drill, chainsaw, a little bit of diesel, helps any situation be more fun. Extension cord, safety gear. Uh, not shown here is some charcoal. Might use a little charcoal to stuff in the hole to get it going along quicker as well. Next stop, I will show you what the setup looks like. I did plunge cuts with the saw there. It sticks in a lot deeper than that, but it's backfilled with some sawdust, so uh, looks like it's more shallow than it is. Uh, took the drill bit, dug it down. Again, as far as it would go, felt like it hit the open spots that I've created there in the middle. And I'll tell you this as well, as I was fighting into this stump here, this is old, old pine, it's a couple years old now, and I could see why it wasn't rotten now. This, I think this is, uh, it's got that strong fatwood odor, just loaded up with sap. Um, so, if you know anything about fatwood, it doesn't rot, which is why this stump has probably been sitting here for so many years. I've been waiting for it to degrade some. It just hasn't. So, in theory, that means it should burn pretty well, being fire knot, fat wood, fire starter wood, heart wood, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's keep on with the setup. The fires have been lit, and it's doing a little bit of smoldering right now, to be expected. The ground's a little damp. It's March, so uh, we're catching some rains. Things aren't drying out as quick. But I went ahead and threw, thought I might have to throw some coals in to get it going. So what you can see right there in the middle, that's a couple of coals. And as those get going hotter, I figure they'll drop down into the hole. And this is uh, my own homemade lump charcoal. You can, uh, it's a different video on how you can make your own homemade white oak lump charcoal if you go to my channel you can see how to make that anything to save a few bucks but we'll keep an eye on this all right so we've got the vacuum hooked up one that would allow some air to escape fast otherwise it would just blow all the dirt out of the hole pipe goes to the hole that I drilled into the bottom of the stump and where to make the dark hole. Way down there in the bottom of the stump. Kind of like a blast furnace down there. That's probably about two foot underground. Fire is burning. Wind picked up a little bit. You can see some of the sparks flying out of the stump there. It really is kind of like a blast furnace down in there. Stump a little bit more funky than I thought it would, so I'm just steadily feeding some of that charcoal in there. Add one more thing into the tool list. I've, I've ran my hose down here because uh, fire gets into this grass and it it starts running and it will just catch everything on fire. It's winter grass brown and dead.
about two foot underground. Waste not, want not. All right, here we are, probably about 80% of the stump gone. You can see it's just a hollowed out pit there. That's the air side that feeds from the pipe. What I'll probably do is fill that in with dirt and then paddle bit the other side and finish it off and call this stump done. And you can, if you wanna see the other videos, again, the charcoal video and what gave me the idea for using this forced air into the stump was forging using a, an old stump with an air feed hole as a forge. So I'm gonna call this project or this video done for now. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos.